Uh, somebody you all know and love. He's uh, sporting the man bun tonight, and he might be he might be wearing full full length pants. I'm not sure. I can't see. Oh no 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 no! False alarm. That's a false double alarm. Game. Sorry. That's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Andrew McNich McNicholas. <laughs> Uh, fun fact, y'all, if you ever see me in pants, that's not me. Just go ahead and kill that person on sight. Because that's a body snatcher who's going to kill us all. Um, so I've been doing, I really think, you know, I, I've said this before, is that, you know, my internet search history is going to get me arrested. And not like in a perverted way, but in a, I have to Google a lot of criminal law stuff, because I'm in law school, so that's what they have me doing, all my teachers do anyway. And it's just, I'm really waiting for the on my door one day because we're going into like premeditated murder. So like what someone has to say or think to be like, this is for sure a crime. And so I was, you know, had the fortune, unfortunate today of having to Google like best ways to hide bodies or like, is it illegal to like pull someone's teeth and shave off their fingerprints while they're alive? <laughs> you know, can you punch a baby? Like, is that okay? I said, no, that one's not okay. And I'm just, I guess I'm kind of scared because, like, am I going to end up in a database? Because here's how I do it. This is my research process. I get on my computer, I pop open Google, I go to incognito tab and hit open, and then I feel like that's where I'm already on the FBI's database. Like, when you get on incognito tab, they're like, all right, this guy's about to look up something shady. I had to look up, like, most destructive bombs for cheapest production cost, and surely, surely I'm going to get in trouble for that. I really don't know, but I don't mind because I'm a risk taker, y'all. I like taking risks. Like, I'm, I'll do it. Not like real risks, though. Not like, like bungee jumping or skydiving. Because those are like death wishes, you know? Like, I'm talking like I don't have a phone on my case. Or a case on my phone, I should say, rather. I'll drop that shit everywhere. I don't mind. Like, I'm a risk taker, you know? And I know what you're thinking. You know, oh, man, it's so easy. Like, do y'all know how easy it is to just go down to the store and get, like, a life-proof phone case? Like, no, me neither, because I'm not going to do it. Because I'm a risk taker, man. I don't do that shit. That's, that seems kind of asinine, and you know, hopefully it breaks. I'm on a 5S. I actually, uh, this girl came up to me, and she's like, hey, can I put my number in your phone? I was like, hell yeah, you can. And she's like, no, I don't want to. And I was like, ah. Oh. So she did anyway. I convinced her that I wasn't a complete creeper. And she goes, oh, what's this? And I go, this is my phone. She goes, this is like a Nokia 900 from 1982. I was like, no, it's just a 5S from 2012. And she's like, oh, gosh. Like, this guy's all old. old. And in fact, I'm not, but it made me feel bad, so maybe I need to upgrade my phone. I don't know. It's, uh, it's getting kind of weird for me because I feel like I shouldn't be judged based off of me not wanting to have to buy a new phone every time a new phone comes out. Like, that seems kind of like I'm beholden to the system, and I don't like doing that at all. Um, I only like doing a couple things. Uh, one of them is staying in shape. You might not be able to tell, uh, but uh, <laughs> I used to be an athlete in college. Competitive eater. I know what you're thinking. Andrew, how do you train for a competitive eating competition? I'll tell you. You pick your favorite all-you-can-eat buffet, and you go up to the manager and ask them, is it, like, really all-you-can-eat? Or is there a limit? Most of the times there is a limit. I've been kicked out of the CC's All-You-Can-Eat Pizza in Murfreesboro, oh. Tennessee. <laughs> I've been kicked out of the uh, Chef Wang's in Memphis, Tennessee. And I got super close, super close, to being kicked out of the Golden Corral right here in Knoxville. I just now... Thank you. Thank you. Now, that one was a little bit iffy because I just took the prime rib and shoved it under the chocolate fountain. So I think they were, it was like a health hazard or something. I don't know. It was kind of weird. I was, uh, I'm, so I, I don't like watching football. I just do it because I like having an excuse to drink. And my friend told me, he's like, you know, we were watching the Titans. And he was like, man, Andrew, you know, what do you think about the balls? And I'm like, I just don't give a shit, man. I'm sorry. And he's like, what? You, got, you don't care about the balls? You don't care about the balls? I'm like, no, I don't care about the balls. And he goes, well, I'm going to tell you about the balls. I was like, okay. And he goes, man, I think best case scenario, this year we can finish up either uh, eight and four, or worst case, we can go three and nine. And I said, Micah, I don't think you understand how best case and worst case scenarios work. Because best case scenario, we go 11 and one and win the national championship. Worst case scenario, we go two and 10 and everybody dies. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know if he really gets it, all that. So, all right, it's really hot up here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get off the stage. Thank you all very much. Yeah. All right. Next up.